Hi guys, Niall here. Welcome back to the 8020 BIM channel. Today we're going to talk about colour schemes in Revit and how we can use the colour scheme dialog and the colour fill legends to quickly represent either a room colour scheme, a space colour scheme, an area colour scheme or maybe even break the building up into departments and visually represent the departments via blocks of colour so that the client or the uh, reviewer of the information has a very straightforward and easy to understand way of understanding the, uh, the, the complexity and the various uses within a building. So we're going to start by creating a room fill schedule uh, and the idea is that we want to color each of the rooms by their various names and, be, and then we can create a legend beside it so that you can see the relationship between the color and the view name. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into the architecture tab and under room and area we want to use color schemes and as you can see in the top left corner of this dialogue here we have category spaces so the first thing we want to do is we want to select rooms okay and i've already assigned departments to multiple rooms but what we're going to start actually is we want to start with room name because we've got so many variables we have nine rooms in total we actually want to use a room name as the color infill and as you can see revit pre-selects colors for you so for example, I don't like this brown, we can very easily go in and tone down that brown and maybe even put it on the green palette instead and make it more of a pastel. Then you press apply. And this is the foundation of the color scheme for the rooms that we're going to use. So we're going to rename this and we're going to say color scheme by room name. We're going to press apply and press OK. Now, under the dialog here, you'll notice that there's been no changes to the view presentation to represent the color scheme that we've assigned the rooms. And the reason for that is we haven't actually assigned it to the, to the, the drawing itself yet. We actually have only created the color scheme itself that can be appended to any view. So what we want to do is we want to double click into our plan view. And you see on our breakdown here on the left hand side there are multiple options but what we're looking for is we're looking for our color scheme option okay and you'll see it here under the graphics tab we have color scheme set to none so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're matching the category that we created the color scheme under so we want to go to rooms and we want to say color scheme by room we can there's an option down here to include elements from links so let's say you had multiple buildings and you were doing kind of a site ga of multiple buildings that are interconnecting you may want to include the rooms from the linked data as well within the legend and that can increase the uh, the number of room colors that you see available okay so we're going to press apply in this instance and press ok and as you can see our base plan now is updated with the colors that we've given the scheme and each room is represented by its own color now what we don't have is a reference uh, material for this we do not understand uh, let's say in this example we did not want to see the project um, room names or the areas so let's say we hid them in view we have no distinguishing um, text item to describe what this color is relating to so we can actually go into our annotate tab and then use the color fill legend here on our annotation and as you can see we can assign the room name legend by room name legend that's been created as soon as we created the color scheme and here we have a legend that coincides with each room name and the color associated with each the great thing about the legends as well is if you don't like the presentation of that as it is you can stretch and pull the legend to represent in whatever way you want so let's say you wanted something like that going under the base you can have that either okay um and we can actually reduce that down so it's it's neater so we have a certain amount of visual control here in terms of how the legend is represented now truth be told we don't necessarily use color fill legends like this very often it, we're more inclined to break a building up into departments and then try to represent the departments across multiple rooms as color blocks so that the, the client or the contractor can easily understand the differentiation between large amounts of room and their function within the building from the other spaces. So the way we can actually do that is we can actually change our color legend or create a color scheme 
to suit department of each room. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the last few steps that we've created, control Z, and we're going to get our room names up. Okay, I'm going to undo one more so we remove the color legend that we had assigned, the color scheme that we'd assigned. I'm going to go back to the architecture tab and we're going to go into our one moment room and area color schemes. And as you can see, under the category, we automatically have a by department. And as you can see, I have admin, production, storage, and warehousing already produced as a department legend. The way the departments are assigned to the rooms is very simple. When you select the room itself, on the left-hand side, under identity data, you can type in what you want to name the department. So as you can see, we have our four variations there. So I can set, assign it to any one of the four variations. If that's blank, you can just add in a new parameter essentially for the department dialogue to be broken down into. So I'm actually going to change the name of that to administration. Sorry. To differentiate. And now when we go back to our architecture, room area, color schemes tab, when we go by department, you can see that we've removed the admin because there's no longer anything assigned to admin and it's now broken down into administration. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to improve some of the variation of the colors here. So I'm going to change this color here to kind of a pastel red. And I'm going to change our storage to um, more of an off orange there. Okay. And I'm going to press apply. Now, yet again, we don't have the color scheme appended to this view yet. So on our left hand side, under graphics, we go down to our color scheme dialog. We click in under category, we assign rooms, and then we select by department. And you press apply and OK. And as you can see now across multiple view rooms, you actually have a departmentalization. So we know that the canteen and the admin space here belongs to the administration block within the building. We have our R&D and production, and we know that they belong, belong to our production department. Similarly, we have our warehousings, A and B, and they belong to warehousing, and our packaging and storage, and they belong to the storage designation. And as previously, if we want to see a legend that describes this for a reference, we go into our annotate tab, we go under color fill legend, and we place by department legend. You'll notice that the color fill legend will automatically assign to the type of color fill that you've applied to the view. Previously, it was by room, and now it's by department legend. And now you can see we have a breakdown of our room colors as such. And as before, we can change the set out so it more, is more presentable. So this is particularly useful in large scale projects where you could have 30, 40, 50, 60 rooms and you want to assign a departmentalization and maybe volumes so that the contractor and the client and all the subbies understand the variation between the zones. You can also use this as a means of describing pressure profiles from a HVAC perspective. You might have rooms that need to be 15 PA, 13 PA, 35 PA and 45 PA, for example, and you can break them up into the designation that's based on air exchange and uh, air exchanges and the pressure profiles within the room and you can color code them in the same way so there's multiple uses across all disciplines for this um so that's a quick overview of how color schemes work in revit uh, if you have any questions on this please let me know in the comments below in the meantime if you want to see more content like this make sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll be back with something similar again soon thanks again for your time guys and i'll see you again bye bye